before I even begin this review, let me let you guys know right now that I don't know anything about this movie. I've never watched anything Frozen other than Yuri on Ice. I bought this figure simply because it looks nice and it's not even for me. So don't hit me up in the comments. Now with that said, let's go ahead and get into this awesome looking figure of Elsa from Frozen. A movie in which I don't know anything about. I'm not very big on Disney movies. I like the old classics, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, stuff like that. But I'm not a fan of the new Disney movies. Or rather, I just haven't watched any of them. So I'm not going to say I'm not a fan. I just haven't watched them. Not something that I'm really into. Not something I really wanted to watch. But um... Like I said, this figure looked pretty cool, so I decided I wanted to go ahead and review it. I bought it for someone else. You know who you are, and uh, I'll be giving it to you right after I do this review. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, starting off with that sexy packaging. Now, anyway, first let's start off with the sexy packaging, and I gotta say this is a pretty sexy packaging. I like these different colors of blues, and they just look awesome. And speaking of sexy packaging, this package is pretty big. It's almost like a mini Christmas present or something, but it's extremely awesome anyway we'll start off with Elsa right here who mine is interesting the hand is off for some reason and I'm hoping that's not a broken piece or I'm gonna be pretty pissed couple faces right there Olaf right there Frosty the snowman aka Figma number 308 this is actually the first Figma that I believe I reviewed I'm not sure but I think so anyway looks pretty cool we got some cool image right there of her on the top with the little snowflakes in her hand and same image on the side right here looks awesome figma 308 japanese stuff i'm pretty sure that it says frozen not completely sure though another image right there of her singing and another reason i haven't watched this movie is because i'm not big on musicals and i heard that's what it's about so then we got a couple images of her on the back stuff up here i don't feel like reading figma right there and japanese stuff that i really don't feel like reading so yeah awesome stuff right here and Great looking packaging, but anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and bust the figure open and take a look at it, and hopefully not have an issue with this broken arm piece right here. Now, right out of the packaging, I gotta say that this figure is just as beautiful as it looks, honestly, and it was to be expected because I have Figmas, and for those of you who have never had a Figma, if Figma makes a character that you know you like, I highly recommend picking it up because they are usually just about absolutely flawless when it comes to making figures and I gotta say that this one is no exception to that. This one is just great. It's not my first one but like I said it is the first one that I reviewed and man it just it looks so nice from the details and everything the sculpt is right. They got the glitter on her shirt which I'm guessing she had in the movie obviously. Um, not too much range of motion when it comes to the legs simply because of her skirt, but uh, she's not an action figure, so I doubt she'll be one to be kicking around and doing any kind of action poses, so it's probably the best they could do, and it looks pretty nice. There's a separation piece right there, so you can move her legs just a little bit, I'm sure, but... Overall, I'm really, really digging this. It's not one that I'm going to keep for myself. I just wanted to review it. But anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and move on. Get into the articulation a little bit. Now, of course, the head is on, uh, I don't know what you call this. It's not a ball peg. I don't know what you call it in Figma, but it's on this little thing right here where you plug it right here into the neck. And it goes in pretty well. She can look up pretty far especially with her ponytail that's not bad at all and it hinders it just a little bit once it reaches the shoulder but that's fine looks down about that much and as you guys can see this is a soft plastic right here and it's actually a little bit adjustable actually that's a moving piece right there i think this is on some kind of yeah it's on a ball peg actually so yeah you can move that around as well that's pretty cool how they did that so it doesn't mess with her motion when it comes to the neck that's nice Head can move all the way around, of course, just like any action figure. Arms go out about that much. Got the drop down method so you can move them out just a little bit more. Rotate all the way around. And she has double jointed elbows, of course. Now the wrists are on this 
thing right here this little whatever that is you plug in there and can move pretty well it's the standard for figma you got this right here that might limit it a little bit but you can rotate it around play with it and it'll move just fine she doesn't have a diaphragm joint but she can move at the waist a little bit swivel around like that she can actually lean pretty far that's good and as for the legs of course we got this right here blocking it just a little bit but you can move it up uh, it's a pretty soft plastic so you can move it up about that much legs can go that far forward probably a little bit more if you play with it I'm not gonna play with it because like I said this figure's not mine double jointed knees so they move just like that foot moves upward that much that's great down that much and it does have an ankle pivot I'm sure yeah you just got to play with it a little bit for that ankle pivot but it does not have a toe hinge so still pretty good articulation for what this figure is and while we're at it let's go ahead and get into frosty see if he has any he can turn his head around of course he can't really look up for anything arms move around they're on a ball peg as you guys can see they don't go outward i'm pretty sure so i'm not gonna force them outward no swivel at the waist no swivel up top and the legs can't move at all if you want to get him to stand they gave you this extra piece right here you just Oh, arm popped off on me. You just plug it in his back, and if you can push it enough, it'll go in. Arm fell off again. And there we go. You just sit that down, and he will stand. So there's the articulation for both of them, and it's pretty decent. And this guy, he looks pretty good. I actually thought it was just going to be something they would blow off, but Figma doesn't do that. This is absolutely pretty good. I figured you'd probably have to buy this guy as, like, an accessory or something. Find one that goes in scale with Elsa, but... They didn't do that and that's awesome so yeah as always articulation on figma great now for accessories she comes with her standard face that looks absolutely awesome figma did a really nice job with capturing this character it's just a standard smile on it nothing too serious she comes with two relaxed open hands that she has in the packaging she comes with two gripping hands which i love that figma always includes these i don't know why sh figure arts won't include these i feel like these are something that we need with every single figure we get but for some reason they won't include them she comes with these two open hands that have holes in them and i'll show you guys what those are for in just a second she comes with two fist hands which are even awesomer because first of all she's not an action figure she has no reason to ball up her fist they could have easily left out these hands but because figma isn't lazy they give us exactly what we need and she comes with another open relaxed hand that also has a hole in it as you guys can see and like i said i'll show you guys what these holes in their hands are for she comes with a face with kind of a smirk on it which is pretty awesome i like this face it's probably my most favorite one it's pretty awesome and she comes with the face where she is singing and that just looks extremely awesome um like i said all these faces look really good and they capture her a lot she comes with this thing that i'm pretty sure a lot of you won't know what it's for and i'll show you pretty much it's just to move the eyes and as you guys can see you have these right here in the back where you pretty much just plug this in and you use it to turn it. It's pretty simple to do. You just stick that in there like that and then you can turn it whichever way you want. Let me see if I can get that to work. And now as you guys can see, she is smirking as she looks off to the side. So this is a pretty handy tool. First time I seen it, I want to say it was with Revel Tech and they tried it on... I don't know what figure, but I know Figma tried it once before with Thor and Captain America, and God, those were atrocious. I don't even want to talk about those. She comes with these little, see how this shows up on here, snowflakes that look pretty cool. These are the ones that she's holding them in her hand, and then she comes with one more where it's kind of like she's blowing them out. That translucent plastic is pretty awesome, and I'll show you guys how you do that. It's pretty simple, and I'm pretty sure some of you have already figured it out. You pretty much just grab her hand, whichever one you want to put it in, and you plug that little piece right there. Probably have to put some hot water on it. You might not want to go. Or maybe this isn't. There it goes. Yeah, and as you can see, you just plug that in there, and it looks like she's catching the snowflake. So, yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Last but not least, other than one more thing, you got Olaf who, or Frosty the Snowman, whatever you want to call him, pretty cool accessory or he might not even be considered an accessory just another figma but 
it looks good it captures the character and i really dig it so yeah you also get this guy one thing that i almost forgot is that she also comes with this thing right here which is like i guess an extension to her dress or whatever she wears i don't know what you call these things but it looks pretty awesome it has a peg on it it comes in three parts and it comes apart pretty easily as you guys can see it's already split in two but you just plug it right back in there and this piece right here it goes right into the hole in her back so yeah you can plug that on her pretty easily and i'll show you guys some pictures at the end because this part is already frustrating me now Elsa stands at about five and a half inches to the top of her hair, which I feel like is probably about right. And then Olaf stands at about, get this space up off the ground, a little bit over three inches, almost four to the top of his antlers or whatever. Uh, and actually about three and a half. So yeah, pretty small in size, but I feel like that's probably right for these characters. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into some size comparisons. Here they are compared to the SH Figure Arts Kakashi and SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, and they look pretty good together. It looks like it goes about in scale to me. They are compared to the SH Figure Arts Android 17 and Android 18 figures, and as you can see, 17 is about the same size as her, and 18 is a little bit smaller. And last but not least, here she is standing next to two more Figmas, the Free Eternal Summer, Haruka Nanase, and Makoto Tachibana. Now, overall, I gotta say this is a pretty decent figure. It's not one that I care so much about. I just wanted to review it. Like I said, it looks extremely nice. And if you are a fan of Frozen or any Disney Channel characters, I gotta say, you'll probably like this figure a lot. It captures the character. It looks nice. So much detail. Accessories are great. This part right here with the glitter and all that, it looks nice. And the glitter is not falling all over the place like normally what happens with glitter. So it's all done extremely well. Olaf looks great back there. Everything about this. And the accessories, I really, really love the accessories. I'm not even going to lie. That's one thing that I like about this figure the most. Just like this snow accessory that you get with her all that just looks so cool and it would pop off right when i was trying to show it off but um yeah everything about this figure just looks extremely nice i really dig it and i highly recommend it to anyone so i hope you guys like the review if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that always helps me out don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more action figure reviews if you haven't already and follow me on everything you see listed in the description below and as always i'll talk to you guys later peace